Hey guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. Well, today we're going to do an animation tutorial and we're going to look at one of the animation principles. And that principle is principle number six, ease in and ease out. Okay, so let's uh, jump in and have some fun. Here we go. Hey right, guys, well, we're in Maya 2018 and I created a simple setup to uh, demonstrate the um, one of the principles of animation, uh, principle number six, if I'm not mistaken, which is referred to as ease in and ease out, okay? But first I'll show you what I uh, created here, okay? So let's uh, jump into our perspective view. I created a simple cube and it has a hole on it and inside it has, let's call this a piston, okay? Now the idea is that I want this uh, piston to move up to the top and that's it, okay? Now. When we talk about the principles of animation, specifically the ease in, ease out, what that means is if you want an animation to look realistic, then you want a, a movement to start slow and ramp up speed and then start to um, ramp down basically before it stops, okay? So let's take a car for example. A car doesn't take off at 100 miles an hour, it takes off at zero miles an hour builds up towards 100 miles an hour and when it breaks it doesn't go from 100 to zero but from 100 to you know 80 60 40 whatever okay so that is the principle but that applies to walk cycles it applies to bouncing balls it applies to basically any movement now in this case if you want this to look realistic you would have to do the same principle now if we look at this uh, and i'll show you what i did um i'll just scrub back here I selected this guy and on frame one, I set a key, okay? And then I went to frame 120, which is basically exactly five seconds of animation based on 24 frames a second. And that's where I want it to be on the highest vertical position, all right? So if we hit play, you see that this guy goes up and stops right there. I just went one too far. Let's uh, scrub manually, okay. Right, okay, and uh, that's it. So we'll have a few uh, at this end so you can see it better. Let's do that one more time. And as you can see, this is a completely even movement. All right, so let's go back to the beginning. Now, normally when you keyframe something like this, you would actually get a, uh, to some degree, an ease in, ease out automatically. And I'll show you that by opening up the graph editor, okay? So we're gonna to go to Windows, we're gonna to go to Animation Editors, and we're gonna to go to Graph Editor. All right, now what I did here, um, just to cheat a little bit, is I went into the Graph Editor and I changed the curve. Now what you see here, this green line, that represents the movement of this vertical piston, okay? You don't see anything going on here, but you can see that that is the one that controls that, and I'll show you. So what we basically want is we want, instead of this even uh, movement, we want it to slowly go up, then start to speed up, and then slowly break, if you will. So instead of a straight line, we want an S-curve, okay? So I'm going to select this line right here, and it has little controls at the end. So I'm gonna click on this guy, and when I do that, I can control the curve. Now I don't want that green curve to be underneath that horizontal line. So let's do something like this. And then we're gonna go up here, click on this guy and do the same thing. So I'm gonna push that up like so. Okay, so now let's see if we have any difference. Okay, so let's hit play again. And now this sh should uh, ease in and ease out. Okay, so here we go. And as you can see, it does, okay? So basically, all that, uh, that's all there's to it. Uh, like I said, it applies to almost every animation you can think of. And if you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial on the graph editor, how to use these controls and how to affect your animation, please let me know in the comments section, okay? Now, if you uh, enjoyed this little video, please uh, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos in the future, okay? Well, that said, I thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.
Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.